This is example B. It is exactly the same configuration we had in example A. The difference is the values of the resistors. This VCC source is 12 volts. We want to analyze the behavior of the transistor in DC. We want to know if it is in linear mode of operation or if it is in saturation or in cutoff mode. Well, in DC we know that those two capacitors will behave as open circuits and will eliminate the right-hand side of the circuit and the left-hand side of the circuit and leave us with this. As with the first example, we assume the transistor is in its linear mode to begin with and we replace it with its linear model, this one. It's an NPN. I have identified the base, the emitter, and the collector. We solve the circuit the same way as before. The current in the base is in this RV branch, voltage of the origin, 12 minus voltage of the destination, which is 0 volts, minus the value of the source 0 0.7 divided by 400 kilos. That is the current in the base. Same as before, 28 microamps. Because that current is positive, the BJT is not in cutoff mode. We know that. The question is, is it in saturation or is it in linear mode? To answer that question, we need VC. We need the voltage V between collector and the emitter. Because the emitter is connected to the reference node, VC is directly VC. To find VC, we will need this current, which is the current in the collector. That is 50 times IB that we have already computed. And with that one, we'll determine the voltage drop in the 8.5 kilo ohm resistor. This node is at 12 volts above the reference node. Minus this drop will give us the voltage of C. Let's do that. The current in the collector is 50 times IB is 1.4 milliamps, same as in the previous exercise. The drop will be 8.5 kilos times that current, subtracted from the voltage at the top node, and that tells us that the voltage C, which is just VC, is negative 6.25 millivolts. It's less then 0.2 volts, which is impossible. That is telling us in loud, loud words that it's in saturation mode. Who? The transistor. The BJT in this case is in saturation mode. Well, if it's so, we need to replace the transistor with a saturation mode equivalent circuit and compute it all over again. There you go the saturation mode equivalent circuit. We compute the circuit again. Of course, the base current will not change. It's still going to be 12 minus 0.7 over 400 kilos, 28 microamps. However, the transistor is not amplifying that current anymore. It isn't. So the current in the collector will be just the current in an RV branch. Voltage of the origin, 12 minus the voltage of the destination, 0 volts, minus the source in the branch, 0.2 divided by 8.5 kilo ohms. That current is 1.39 milliamps. Even if we were to increase the current IB, you say, how? Well, by decreasing this resistor here. If we were to decrease that resistor, the current IB would increase, but the current IC would remain the same. The saturation current of this transistor in this circuit. Let's compute what power that transistor is dissipating right now. Well, of course, the power will be the power in the base emitter circuit current 28 micros times 0.7 volts plus the power absorbed in the collector emitter port 1.39 milliamps times 0 0.2 volts that is 0.3 milliwatts and that is the answer to this question thank you very much